Hello, my name is Abe Mashney. I'm a criminal defense attorney here in Lexington, Kentucky. And today we're going to be continuing our suppression series on Wells issues. So what I mean by Wells issues is it's Wells v. Commonwealth. It's a court of appeals case that the opinion was rendered in 1986. And the case came out of Fayette County. And in it, Mr. Wells was found behind the wheel in his van asleep um, in a parking lot outside of a hotel in here in Lexington. And he was the only person in the vehicle. The, the ignition was on. The vehicle was running. The transmission was in neutral, but the emergency brake was on. And uh, in the van, there was a case of beer. There were several cans missing from the, the case. Uh, and there was one empty can also in there. And when the officer approached the van, he immediately detected the odor of alcohol. He asked Mr. Wells to get out of the vehicle. Uh, he performed several sobriety tests in which Mr. Uh, Wells failed those tests. And then he also conducted a uh, BAC test in which Mr. Wells blew a .17, which is over two times the legal limit. He was arrested, and um, ultimately Mr. Wells asked for a bench trial. He didn't ask for a jury trial. He asked for a bench trial, meaning that the only person that was going to decide the case was the district court judge. And Mr. Wells, he fashioned his defense on the fact that he argued he was not in operation of the vehicle because he was asleep and the vehicle, uh, he wasn't driving. And so he said, I can't be guilty of a DUI if I wasn't in operation. And he pointed to KRS 189A.010 subsection 1, where it says you have to be in operation of the vehicle while under the influence. And um, in subsection 6, it defines operator as the person in actual physical control of the vehicle. But nowhere in our statutes here in Kentucky does it define what operation is. And so the trial court denied this argument, so it found him guilty of a DUI. He appealed it again. He went to the Fayette Circuit Court with the same argument. And they denied that again. And so his, his conviction stood. He appealed it again to the Kentucky Court of Appeals. And they actually reversed course and, and found in his favor. And in doing so, and in their opinion, they listed four factors that the judges should look at to determine whether or not somebody is in operation of the vehicle in DUI cases. And so those four factors are, first, whether or not a person in the vehicle was asleep or awake. Um, if you are asleep, it is very hard to operate anything. And so, number two, whether or not the vehicle was running. If the vehicle is running, then that lends to somebody that is in operation. Three, the location of the vehicle and all the circumstances bearing on how the vehicle arrived in that situation. So, what they're referring to here is there's a huge difference with an officer finds somebody asleep at the wheel in the middle of an intersection at a red light versus in a parking lot. And so that's that those are two completely different situations. And then four, the intent of the person behind the wheel. That's going to be really hard. It's going to be very fact intensive. And um, that, that's, that's for the judge to decide. And so for all the defense attorneys in Kentucky, uh, this is a case you need to know, learn, and and, uh, and look out for because this is something that can get your clients dismissed. Uh, I've had multiple cases dismissed just based on this case. In some instances, I didn't even have to file a motion because the prosecutor agreed. And so what to look out for? You're looking for a DUI case where somebody's asleep behind the wheel. Um, are they in the parking lot or are they in an intersection? Are they parked legally where a normal person would park? Did the client make any statements about driving the vehicle? Um, that's it's it's pretty hard to to argue that you weren't in operation of the vehicle if the client admitted to um, to operating it within a short amount of time of, of the police finding them. And so, at the end of the day, uh, to get past one of these hearings, the government's going to have to find uh, or prove probable cause that the person was in operation. If they can't do that, then the judge is going to dismiss the case. And then worst case, at that suppression hearing, if you lose, you still get to go in front of a jury and art make the same arguments, except this time, instead of a probable cause standard, it's going to be a proof beyond a reasonable doubt standard 
on whether the person is operation of the vehicle. And so I hope you learned a little bit about uh, Wells issues today. If you have any questions about your DUI case or, or Wells issues in general, please give us a call at 859-259-0727. And thanks again for watching.